Well guys, hello, good afternoon hello. from Comox Airport here on Vancouver Island. We weren't really planning to start the video here or even come to the airport, but um, George has to go back home due to personal reasons. There's been a little emergency, so we are one man down. One man down, One man down, just three of us. So it's yeah. kind of sad that we he can't join us for the rest of the trip, but no. we're gonna carry on. We're heading north. Yeah, the well, plan. I'm really glad he was able to go back to his hometown, yeah, Gold River. Yeah, that was nice. He got to see his family friends, Joe and Joyce. Yeah. And mm -hmm. so, yeah, those were the, the main things that I think he wanted to do. So, mm -hmm. if, if that's any uh, small consideration. Consolation. Any, consolation, I should say. Uh, anyways, we are continuing the journey up north. Yeah, yeah so going. our next stop is Port Alice. Port Alice. We've got a three, three and a half, four hour drive. Three, three and a half, four hours drive from here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, we keep on with the adventure. Mm -hmm. We are going to intern ourselves in the uh, wilderness. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe yeah. we get to see a cougar. We're yeah. still looking for the elk. Maybe some more bear. Maybe some more bear. Ah, for uh, sure. And the thing is, the further north you go on the island, the more rugged it gets. There's less yeah. population, human population, yeah. and probably more animals. So but, I uh, like our chances. We are one uh, man down, uh -huh. but uh, the spirit is still here and uh, we are going to keep on going. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Onwards. Onwards. <laughs> Uh, I'm not sure what beach it didn't have a name, but it was a lot just a before Campbell River. Beach? Yeah, Campbell it was River. it was after Miracle Beach, slightly okay, after Miracle Beach. Go. So yeah, we are at the salmon capital of the world. Apparently, yeah. Campbell River salmon Campbell capital. River. Okay. Yeah, you didn't tell us that. <laughs> and there there are two options to get here. We ended up taking the scenic route, which I think was the right idea. We got yes. to go along the along the coast, and wasn't that a beautiful drive? It was nice. Yeah, a little bit of construction. Uh, slowed us down, okay. but uh, no one's in a rush. No one's in a rush, <laughs> yeah. and we came to a place called Save On Foods. Yeah, so we've done our groceries, three boxes full of food, so we are set for the next four nights in Port Alice. Yeah, not gonna go hungry. Something to keep in mind, guys, is Campbell River is the last kind of big city before you head up north. So yeah. if you're gonna do that, it's good. It's a good idea to load up with supplies. Oh, yeah. you, there are some grocery stores up there, but not quite as big as these ones. Uh, they, they may not have all the variety and stuff like that. So right. stock up here. Even, stock up. Uh, I, I would suggest even gasoline here it should be better. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, we need to do that next. That's next. Yes. That's yes. Yeah. Yeah. A little snack, a little sandwich here on the side of the road. We've got some roast beef, cheese buns. We're next to a lake surrounded by cheese. <laughs> it's good, huh? Mm -hmm. It's so nice up here. We've already passed a few lakes. Not a soul on the lake. Mm -hmm. you, could, you could be out here on your boat and be the only person. And just or... lots of logging oh, yeah, okay. trucks. That's what we keep seeing, logging trucks. Yeah. Big trucks mm -hmm. with big, big logs. I mean, huge. Yeah. It's amazing. The north part of the island is where you have a lot of the industry in terms of uh, that, that type of industry, yeah. Um, nature at its best. Nice, clean, fresh air, beautiful water, crystal clear. I mean, this is paradise, people. What can I tell you? I don't know if you can find many places around this world that compare to this. It's just wow yeah i totally agree are you enjoying yeah. all this praise about your home island yes 
I'm, I'm appreciating it now more than I'm revisiting than when I used to live here. Yeah. I, did, I didn't know what I had when I lived here. That's, uh, <laughs> that's usually the case. When you live in a beautiful place like this and you think, oh, the world out there. You know, you always think that the grass is greener on the other side of the fence. That's true. And when you jump over, you find out that the grass is an illusion. Yeah. You know? That's and true. This is what it was. This is where, this is the beauty. <laughs> this is the beauty. I mean, I'm impressed. Okay? Yeah. I've been around areas where you have... Uh, yeah, woods and forests and stuff like that, but around here, it is impressive. You know, it's impressive, really. Good afternoon, everyone. We have arrived at our Airbnb here in Port Alice. It's been a long drive. It is now 5.30 p.m. We're all checked in. Nice little spot with a beautiful deck, views of the water. Check this out. This is gonna be a nice place for breakfast, like a morning coffee, maybe enjoying sunset. This is pretty cool. And yeah, the boys are already working on dinner. I think we're going to be having some pasta, so we'll see what they're up to in the kitchen. So Sam, what is the plan? The plan is we're going to make pasta. We arrived a little bit earlier. We decided not to do as much sightseeing, just come here right away. Yeah, it's been a hectic day. We'll been, sightsee yeah, it's tomorrow. Been, it's, been, it's been a busy day with everything that's going on. Um, love the house so far. The Port Alice is beautiful. Man. Mm. Can't wait to show you guys. We might even, who knows if we have time, maybe we'll go for a walk tonight. Show mm -hmm. you a little bit of the, a little bit of the downtown area. Oh, you know? <laughs> but first food, what's on the menu? What pasta um, did we choose? We've got uh, ricotta and kale tortellini. Ooh, fancy. And we're going to make a, um, basically a tomato based pasta sauce. Probably throw in some mushrooms, maybe chop up some pepperoni, some salami. You know, I bought some spicy pepper. Italian sausage if you want to add that in. That's going in there for sure. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we're gonna have a nice big meal, settle in, and maybe go for a walk. And maybe we'll show you a little bit of the house too. There's, mm -hmm. some, there's some beautiful maps and artwork here. Okay. So, yeah. And you, ready to eat? Listen. Ready for the wine, Listen. I think. <laughs> I just drove 200 and what? <laughs> 220 yeah. kilometer. She said, what's the plan? I'll show you what's the plan. <laughs> this is the plan right now, okay? <laughs> I need to recuperate myself. I see, okay. <laughs> okay, you, you'll work on the wine tasting. Sam and I will do the cooking. Do I trust you with the cooking? I think yeah. so. Yeah. <laughs> okay, fine. Okay. We can start cooking. We're gonna have some tortellini. Tortellini. And, uh, oh yeah, what a beautiful drive this was. Yeah, through the forest. Yeah, through the forest, it was like, uh, you know what, the whole way here, it was like uh, when you are going into one of those driveways of these properties, like uh, estates, mm -hmm. and they are winding between the big trees and stuff like that, that that's what uh, reminded me of, you know, mm -hmm. we're driving and you've got a wall of green on both sides of the highway, and hilly, and mm -hmm. very nice, very nice, very extremely, nice. extremely good. And we have four nights here to explore and enjoy this yeah, area. We're going to explore a lot. Okay. So all right. Yeah. Now cooking. Let's cook. Oh, these, these ones are not rough on my eyes. These ones don't make you cry. These are sweet onions. The I sweet bought onions. sweet onions. The other ones make me cry. Yeah. Otherwise, you're like Audrey. Can you come here? Chop well, this. They're, they're actually a little stronger though. <laughs> Maybe I spoke too soon. <laughs> Serve. A lovely tortellini with yep. kale, not spinach. That's something new. I've never had tortellini with kale. It also has ricotta cheese. And so. ricotta, yes. Salute, guys. So here we go. Cheers. Dinner time. Dinner. My first dinner in Port Alice. Hello. Huh? Oh, this is delicious. It's very good. Mm. Uh -huh. The sauce is awesome. I love the mushrooms and the. The sausage, oh. very spicy. We picked a spicy one and they mm -hmm. didn't let us down. So yeah, I mean, now that we're in the Port Alice area, there's so many great things to do. 
There's whale watching that which you can take from either Port McNeil or Port Hardy. You also have the option of doing some island hopping. You can go to Alert Bay, which mm -hmm. is really famous. We're gonna do that for sure. Woo. We're also planning to go to Telegraph Cove. If you have the time, you can go to the is it the San Joseph Bay? Yeah, that's further in the north. Cape Scott Trail. And uh, you've also got some provincial parks nearby. You've got the Nimkish, Nimkish Park. And then I think there's a Shone Lake. Tons of things to do in and around the area. The north part of the island isn't nearly as visited as the south part or even the central part. And so for those who take the time to get out here, it's, it's well worth their effort. Something we have noticed here in the island is that a lot of people, they are geared towards the uh, outdoors. Doesn't matter what age. Huh? A lot of people come to this island to retire because of the weather. This is Canada's uh, mildest weather, let's say, area. And uh, we've been out in the trails and stuff like that. And you see so many, but so many people riding bicycles, riding horses, jogging, trekking. I mean, every possibility and yeah. uh, old ages. So mm -hmm. do not be afraid or... Uh, you know, feel that, that, okay, maybe I'm a bit older to do this type of thing because here you'll just fit in, doesn't matter your age. My dad's friend Joe is yeah. in his 70s and he's doing like yeah. three, four day hikes camping out in the wilderness. So. Yeah, he put us to shame. <laughs> he was training for Nepal, okay? <laughs> yeah, but you know, he goes out into the wilderness and he sleeps out there and mm -hmm. and you, you see all kinds of people, you know, old ages, everything. This, this, this area seems to be really for the outdoors. People like to enjoy life. If you're into the outdoors, if you're into the wilderness, this is the probably one of the best parts of Canada. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm obviously biased, I'm from the island, but I think it's the best. It's my favorite part of Canada and having been gone this long, I'm just so, uh, I, I feel like I'm rediscovering it with new eyes. So yeah, we'll continue sharing Port Alice and the surrounding area with you guys over the coming days, but now, pasta. Pasta. Uh, pasta. Wine, what are you talking about? <laughs> Where is that cork opener? <laughs> All right, guys, we'll see you in the next episode. Thanks. Ciao. Oh, my God.